When I first got my M1 MacBook Air, I was instantly surprised when I couldn't even run my three monitor setup. And this was a challenge to say the least, but I found a solution. How's it going everybody? My name is Jer and I make videos on the technology in our lives and how we can use them to our advantage. If that sounds like something that you're interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now I'm all about minimalism, but also minimalism on a budget. Ironically, becoming minimal these days is actually quite expensive. My goal here is to set up all three monitors, my mouse, my keyboard, as well as any other external devices, including some external hard drives, but I want everything to go through one cable and I wanna do it on a reasonable budget. I slowly came to the realization that if you have an Apple Silicon, like an M1 or an M2 MacBook, you can't run dual displays. So you can't have two external monitors. Sure, you can have one external monitor and then your MacBook monitor, but that's as far as you can go. Even when you're running a standard USB-C hub like this, that has an HDMI port or has any other display ports, you just can't do it. I guess that's how Apple intended it to be. If you have more than one Thunderbolt port on your MacBook, then sure, theoretically, you should be able to plug in two of these separately and somehow run two displays, right? Wrong. Yes, you can have two of these plugged into their independent Thunderbolt ports, but you can't run the dual monitors independently. You can only run them in mirrored mode. What is the point in that? The fact that this is such a feat on a MacBook makes me so frustrated at Apple. They boast about this machine so powerful in their Apple events that can run all sorts of things, multiple Chrome tabs, unlimited programs, but it can't run two monitors? Give me a break. Well, that's not very advanced. Unless you buy those ridiculously expensive Apple certified monitors that can run in Thunderbolt daisy chain support, then you might be able to do it. That's not what we're about and that's not what we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna show you how you can do it without having to spend more than I'd say a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna run you through my setup and also show you what you need to enable three monitors on your own Apple Silicon based machine. There's a couple extra adapters that you might need and you might also need a hub as well too, but it's not gonna run you more than a hundred to $200 tops. And that's if you don't have everything. I spent like $50 on the specific graphics cards that I'm gonna show you. And I spent about a hundred dollars altogether because I already have the dock for my MacBook. I've included some Amazon links in the description below to make this easy for you and to give you the best prices. Everything I talk about today will be included in those links. So here's my setup. I have three monitors running as independent displays and my MacBook monitor for a total of four monitors. You might think I'm crazy, but when you have multiple monitors, you'll be surprised at how productive you are or distracted, I guess. Monitors? Once you start using them though, I guarantee you will not want to go back to one monitor. I won't have a full show and tell of my desk setup. That might be for another video coming soon, but essentially I want to show you the one cable to rule them all. This single USB-C cable goes from my MacBook to a Lenovo ThinkPad Thunderbolt 3 Generation 2 dock. Now this dock, although meant for Lenovo machines, works wonderfully with my MacBook. There are a handful of others that I would recommend and I'll drop links down below, of course. These docks have dual monitor support, but I won't be using that for the specific example here with the MacBooks. That's used for my Windows machine because hey, it's a PC. So here's where we implement our workaround on an Apple machine. There's a company called DisplayLink. They are known as a truly universal solution that lets you run your display through USB or Wi-Fi. The kicker though, is that you need DisplayLink compatible hardware. Lucky for you, this is just a certification and a lot of manufacturers make DisplayLink hardware. And so you'll have to look around and see what's the cheapest option. The one thing that you should note is that you can't just use any old USB 3.0 to DisplayLink or HDMI output. You have to have a DisplayLink certified piece of hardware. That's only if you're running on this Apple silicon machine. For Windows, you can use whatever you want. Lucky for you, I've scoped out the best solutions that are DisplayLink compatible. The most popular out there is the pluggable brand, which offers DisplayLink compatible USB graphics cards. Those are a bit pricey, but they work just fine. So if you have the extra cash to spend, I'll include those links down below as well. However, the ones I have hooked up to my machine are by a company called Cable Creations and I purchased two of them so that I can run the two extra monitors that I wanna to add to my setup. Now remember, I can run one monitor from any old USB-C hub or Thunderbolt hub 
with HDMI or VGA, it doesn't matter. But when it comes to two or more monitors, you're gonna have to use the USB 3.0 graphics adapters that I have below. Display link compatible, remember that. After plugging in the hubs, I installed the display link drivers for Mac OS and voila, I have three monitors in my setup. With every setup, there are some imperfections that you gotta learn to live with. You can't really run graphic intensive games or programs on the USB 3.0 monitors. I mean, I haven't really tried it, but I do see some frame drops when I'm going in Final Cut. It's very, very minimal though, and it works really, really well with Final Cut. I'm surprised, but you do see some frame drops. So any graphics intensive games, you will see a huge, huge drop in performance. Now the good news is that I do everything except gaming, and I've thrown every program I could possibly think of at it, and it didn't really suffer significantly. Like I said, I can edit on Final Cut without any issues, just a couple frame drops here and there, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really make a huge difference. What do you guys think of this setup? Do you have something different? I do also have a Windows machine, as I mentioned before, that I run, and all I have to do is just switch the inputs on the monitors, and I have a USB switch, which moves my peripherals as well as my mouse and my keyboard over, so I'm pretty much set with both environments. I'd love to give you guys a more detailed look at my setup and what I have included here. So if that's something that you wanna see, go ahead and hit me up in the comments below and let me know. Do you have any suggestions or any alternatives to using multiple monitors on a Apple Silicon based machine? I'd love to hear them and so would the rest of the Team Tech Venture community as well. Thanks for watching. Like always, my name is Jer. Don't forget when it comes to tech, the Tech Vengers are there. We got your back.